in this video i'll be talking about favorites in microsoft edge now favorites has been there in the browsers since uh, long now but i have seen like people uh, hardly using this functionality now if you want to organize everything as a part of your browser ecosystem you need to use favorites so that you can find the information which you are seeking repetitively uh, and also it will help you organize the information now when i say favorite favorite means if you say navigate to some website so i navigate to say one of the sites it's a tesla.com or bentley or mercedes or bmw so what i'll do is like if i will be navigating to this site again and again what i'm gonna do i'm gonna mark this as favorite so there is a button which says add this page to favorite and the shortcut is Control d so if i select this then it will ask me where to add i have multiple options i've already created a lot of folders i can just say show it on favorite bar and then the moment i click here i have an option to change the name so i don't want this long name to come over here uh, so I'll just rename this and I'll just call it as Tesla. So I'll just save here and then you see the Tesla appears over here. Similarly, if I go to another website, now instead of just clicking over here, I will just press Ctrl D on my keyboard. So the moment I press Ctrl D, as you see over here, this has come. Now I'll just click on done. And if you have made any mistake of saving this, now as you see, it is taking a lot of space over here. I can just do a right click and I will say, edit and here i will just name it as bentley and i'll click on save so i have saved two favorites now i can go into the third one and then i can click over here and then this will be saved and then i will just click on done similarly if i navigate to another site so bmw now if you click on three dots in this area over here there is an option is you see over here favorites now Control shift o okay so if I click over here, Control Shift 2, it will ask me to save where you want to save. So this is an another interface for which you want to save this information. I'll say I just want to select on the favorite bar. And I will say I, if I want to select any other uh, place and then you just click over here and say add this page to favorites. So I'll click here and then it will add over here and it will ask you to rename if required. So I'll just say BMW. Now the shortcut which we have seen for favorites is Control Shift O. So let me go into another site and then I will just press Control Shift O. So Control Shift O, it will open the favorite bar. Again, it will ask you where you want to save. I'll click on favorite bar and then I will say click on add this page to favorite and then Alfa Romeo is the name which will it get saved in. Now, as you see in this bar, I have this one, two, three, four, five websites. I've saved it as a favorite. Now. The bar which you see over here, so this part particular bar, say this particular bar will not be available for you if you are running the browser for the first time, right? So if you want to make it enable, there is an option, you know, on, on the bar itself, you can just do a right click and say show favorite bar or control shift B. So I'll just press control shift B, this will disappear, control shift B, this will appear. So control shift B, control shift B. So appear and disappear. Alternatively, you can do a right click and then you can say show favorite bar always or never. So I'll say never, then it will disappear. If I want to appear it again, I will say control shift B. Three dots and then I will go into favorites or right click show favorite bar and I'll say always never only on new tab. So I have all these multiple options. Okay, so I can always say i want to show only on new tabs okay now if i click on only on new tabs so what might happen is like this will disappear in all the tabs okay this will the favorite will bar will be disappear uh in the bar uh, in the pages which we have opened and the moment you click on new the favorite bar will appear so if i click on new favorite bar appears if i close this come to this page favorite bar remains so why this behavior because we have said uh, appear favorite bar only on new tabs i'll just say always for time being now favorite bar now this is currently unorganized okay so for me it is unorganized now how do i organize and create something over here so i'll say i'll just do a right click and here i have an option to create a folder so i'll click on add folder and this time 
in favorite bar i'll expand over here and then i'll name it as cars okay so let's call it as cars save it now here what i can do i can move this alpha romeo into this cars okay cars folder so i'm just dragging and dropping so the moment you do that it will show you this icon and if you see this icon then it will allow you to move so i'll just drag see if the uh, icon appears of movement yes and then it is moved alternatively if you do not want to drag so many things what you can do you can just do a right click and then go to manage favorites so you click on manage favorites and then from here you can manage your favorites now i've got so many folders over here so as you see over here this is that favorite bar and it has got so many folders now if i want to organize all this thing what i can do first thing is i can drag and drop from here so i can put cars on the top so as you see cars appear over here but there are a couple of cars which has not been moved so i'll select this and then move move this to cars okay or maybe if I select this cars folder over here, so I can see that there are three cars so far. I go to the favorite bar and then I can multi-select and then go to cars over here. Alternatively, if I click on cars over here, if I do not want this car, I can go ahead and delete this information or delete this car, okay? Now, I won't do that. What I'm gonna do is uh, maybe I will, uh, come over here and then again i will type in say say this one okay so let me go into say another page of this site and i will just save in cars and then maybe i'll just go to models and i will i'll go to electric maybe electric car and then i'll save this in car so i've got so many uh, information over here now okay now, sometimes what happens is like uh, you may see all this information structured in a folder way. Now, you can also drag and drop the folder. So if you want all the folders to be in one place, you can put it over here. So as you see, it will be all folders and then it will be an individual favorite. Now, you can uh, do other things like as you see, you have already created this folders, okay? So there is a cars folder over here. Now you can also create a subfolder. So if you want to do a right click, you can add a folder over here and then you call it as, it's a, I'll just call it as Italian, okay? And in, in Alfa Romeo, I will just move under Italian. So now I have cars and within cars, I have so many cars. And then if I go to Italian, I can see Alfa Romeo. So I've created a, some sort of a structure, okay? I can even create a folder from here say USA and then I will move say Tesla over here so USA Italian and then cars okay and then if I want all the folders to appear over here it will be like this and if you want to see the actual output click on cars click on Italian and then you can navigate to the favorites and this is how you can basically use favorites now if I click on three dots over here and if I navigate to favorites now from here you can add a record so here if I go to cars I can rename it I can delete it okay or maybe if I want uh, all this information to be sorted okay so I have an option so I'll just say click on cars and I'll say sort by name okay so as you see a b as so it will be alphabetically sorted. I can search within the favorite. So if I type in something over here, and then if I just type BMW, then it will start showing me the information. So I can search the favorite. Then there is an important feature called as a remove duplicate favorite. So if you have any duplicate favorites stored, it will delete it, okay? So let me uh, copy this information. So I'll just copy link and maybe I'll just paste uh, so maybe I'll just create an another link. So I'll just copy this. So I'll just open this. <coughs> and maybe I will add a link over here. So add favorite URL. And then this time I'll just call it as BMW Germany. Okay, so this is like a duplicate value within that same favorite or it can lie anywhere. So as you see over here, this is a duplicate, right? So I can even save that as a duplicate as well. 
Now, if I go in three dots over here, click on favorites and then remove duplicate favorites. So what it will do, it will start identifying. It says duplicates of folders and pages you are saved to favorites will be removed and the changes will sync across your signed devices. So I'll click on remove and then it will start the process of removing the duplicate. Okay. Now it has to be an exact replica and then only you will be seeing that duplicate information okay so if it is a folder or if it is like a url but as it is you know now if the subject line is different then uh, if the title is different or the url is different it won't identify it as duplicate as we have seen over here because if you see in the cars as you see this is not the same so if i just edit this and let's see what happens so if i just say bmw then this becomes a duplicate now if i go over here ideally it should remove but let's see how it works so it says remove and then it says one duplicate was removed review your favorite uh, so we can review our favorite and then once we are happy with it i can just say confirm and then it will remove the duplicate other thing what we can do, so let's assume you're using multiple profiles. So I'm using multiple profiles in Edge, okay? Now I have already created in one profile. Now if I go into another profile, so I have this another profile created for some different user or for my purpose, okay? And I want to move this over here. What I can do is I will just right click, copy, and then I will go to the edge remember this is the same browser the same edge but on a different profile i can do go into the favorite bar and i can click on paste and then this will appear as it is so what we have done we have just copy pasted the component and then it has appeared automatically now what happens if it's a different browser itself like if it's a chrome so i have this chrome over here okay now if i say if i copy this favorite copy and I go to Chrome. So Chrome is a different browser. It's not Edge. I'll go to the favorite, right click, paste. And yes, you can copy from Edge to Chrome all your favorites. Okay, so this will all appear within your Chrome. So that's a nice uh, feature um, uh, to copy because if you have created all these favorites and if you want it across your profile or different browser, yes, you will be able to do that alternatively there are other things so if i click on favorites so you have an option to import and export the favorite so you can import favorite from other browsers or you can export the favorite from this browser to different browser now this is useful if you want to give your favorite to your different colleague or uh, if you want to give this information to uh, a different computer or different system altogether so you can make use of this favorite so if you click on export favorite then what happens is it will ask you where you want to save this information. So I will say, I want to store in say downloads and I'll click on save. Now what it will do, it will create a, uh, a basically a HTML file. So as you see over here, it has created an HTML file. So I have this HTML file. So I'll just open this HTML file and it will show me all the bookmarks which i have you know now it is apps and then there is cars which we have created so this is a folder italian usa and then this is these all cars uh, details are within that folder and this is that folder and then all this information appear over here right so this is how you basically use favorites within microsoft edge so if you haven't started using favorite uh, make sure that you start documenting all these things uh, because it is very easy like if you if you are navigating to the site again and again so in my case i uh, usually pay bills monthly so i need to have some sort of a folder structure uh, for my utility bills like electricity or gas or uh, internet or mobile phone so that's one category second is if you are uh, paying your maintenance or body corporate or rates to the government or if you are constantly visiting some technical sites like blogs or youtube video so make sure that you keep all this information in one place now 
for I use Microsoft Power Automate, Power Apps, Power Platform a lot. So I have created two different folders like apps and admin. So if you go into apps, you will see all the apps in Microsoft ecosystem like the Power BI, Copilot Studio, Outlook, Power Pages. And I have created a separate section for admin. So uh, there is an admin folder for uh, Purview, Entra, Power Platform Admin Center, M365 Admin Center. So you can structure it accordingly depending on your need. So this works well for me, so I do that. But in your case, it will be a different scenario. So make sure that you clean out this favorite bar and start adding those information. And as I mentioned to you, it is very easy to copy from one browser to another browser of the same type like Edge to Edge, or you can copy from Edge to Chrome as well. And if you want to share this favorite to a different computer altogether, you can even use an export and then you can share this favorite with your colleagues. So that's it folks. This is all about favorites within Microsoft Edge. Thanks for watching.